Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm here today to talk about my TBR for the Femme Powerathon. Now the Femme Powerathon started today on the 19th of March and it finishes on the 26th of March I think. I think it's just a week long. And yeah, this is a readathon about women and feminism and all that sort of exciting stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of go through my TBR. I've based all my TBR off the questions that uh, were proposed, so I'm going to go through them. And yeah, let's get started. First book I'm going to mention might not really fit into any of the categories. I could argue that it fits into a woman in a position of power, which is the first criteria, because I'm currently reading it and one of the women in it is like a weapons master um, and there's a queen in it but to be honest I'm only putting this in because I'm currently reading it and I don't want to stop reading it um, and it is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is one that my dad has been trying to get me to read for years but the copies, I tried reading it like five or six years ago and the copy that my dad has is one of the uh, with fantasy they tend to have these um little paperbacks like the ones that are about this big and like the writing is just tiny and it bothers me and I don't like them <laughs> so I went out and bought like a nice version recently and I've actually started reading it and yeah I'm about 60 pages into this so I just want to carry on with this so I'm going to ex use it as an excuse to be honest. The one I've actually got for a woman in a position of power is Anthony and Cleopatra by William Shakespeare. Anthony is torn between the political spectrum and, and all the sort of stuff that he has to handle and Cleopatra. On the back of this it says she variously generous and ruthless, loving and jealous, petulant and majestic emerges as Shakespeare's most complex depiction of a woman. So I think that'd be really really interesting to read. So that's my one for woman in a position of power. Another one of the criteria is to read a book about a woman with a mental illness and for that I have chosen Jeffrey Eugenie Dees' The Virgin Suicides. This is about five sisters I think who they go to the prom or to a dance with some boys who like get introduced to them. Um, I saw the film ages ago and I just remember like a massive thing that happened in it that means one of them must have had an, a mental illness for that to happen pretty much um but I can't remember the story and I have always wanted to read it and I've never read a book by Jeffrey Eugenides so I want to read this one the next question is to read a book with a prominent sister relationship and for this one I have chosen one by Sarah Crossan is a book about two conjoined twins and their lives basically and I just I wanted to read this for absolutely ages because I just find it really intriguing that the story is told in like kind of like blank verse so like it's all like poetry sort of thing which I'm just like it just sounds really interesting to me so I really 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 looking forward to this this is one of the first ones i'm going to get to hopefully then one of the next criteria is to read a book about a woman that is not set in the western world and for this i have chosen the vegetarian by hang Kang. this is one that i mentioned on my march tbr anyway as being one that i want to read um soon because me and my best friend both bought it to like read and then discuss sort of thing um this is about a woman who is in south korea i think think maybe in Seoul but I can't remember it might just be the woman who's from Seoul and she decides to become a vegetarian and it is about her becoming a vegetarian in this society that doesn't really accept people going against the norm and especially for a woman to be the one going against the norm and um, so that sounds really really interesting and an interesting one for Femme Power Thumb. So the next one fulfills two of the criteria and that is starring a woman of colour and an own voices novel and it is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, I've been really excited to get to this and yeah this is a own voices because it is about a girl 
who is from Jamaica and she meets this boy but she is getting deported that day and apparently they have like this amazing day together but then she's going to get deported at the end of it. Nicolene herself is from Jamaica so obviously that's the own voices part of this and yeah I'm just really interested to read it. I haven't read Nicolene's other book Everything Everything which I do have um, but just haven't got around to reading yet so I'm thinking reading this one first for the Femparathon and then if I like this going on to Everything Everything but yeah I'm quite excited for this one and then finally the next one fulfills three of the criteria actually and it is Alison Bechdel's Fun Home a Family Tragedy Comic so this is a graphic memoir so this fulfills the criteria of reading a graphic novel um, the criteria of a book that stars an LGBT woman and an own voices book and this is basically her graphic uh, retelling of how her family dealt with her coming out as a lesbian. So on the back of this it says meet Alison's father, obsessive restorer of the family's Victorian home, funeral director, high school English teacher, icily distant parent and closeted homosexual who as it turns out is involved with his male students and the babysitter. Through a narrative that is alternatively heartbreaking and fiercely funny we are drawn into a daughter's complex yearning for her father. When Alison comes out as homosexual herself in late adolescence, the denouement is swift, graphic and redemptive. So I just think this would be really, really interesting and I've wanted to read it for ages. And when I went to buy it at Waterstones, the woman behind the till was saying how amazing Alison Bechdel is, how amazing this is. And she was also saying that she used to do like a comic strip for a newspaper or a magazine and that she found like a compilation of all of those comic strips she did um, in like one book and she said it's absolutely amazing so she was saying that if I enjoyed this I should definitely go and find that so yeah we shall see so they are all the books that I'm hoping to read for the Fem Powerathon I don't think I will read them all but I'm going to try and read as many as I can and yeah it's just nice and exciting to be doing a readathon because I haven't done one since the band bookathon I don't think. I will put the criteria in the down bar so that you can see the questions if you would like to and I will put a link to some of the uh, pages for the Fem Parathon so that you can go and check it out if you want to take part. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you for the Fem Parathon wrap up. Bye!